To address the problem of forest loss, the government of Uganda has embarked in forest tenure reform since 2003. These reforms aimed at promoting sustainable forest management, as well as ensuring that forests contributed positively to improving local livelihoods and the national economy. The government introduced different forest tenure arrangements in different locations, depending on pre-existing social, ecological contexts. These tenure regimes have included private forestry, community forestry and collaborative forest management. The tenure security implications of these different tenure regimes are still being assessed. The government and non-governmental organisations have mobilised and engaged communities using different approaches aimed at empowering communities to actively participate and also negotiate for their rights in the management of forest lands. Worldwide Fund for Nature. The Implementation of forest tenure reforms has faced many challenges that threaten the security of forest rights of local forest dependent communities. The main sources of forest and land tenure insecurity include lack of title, lack of clear boundaries, Lack of enforcement of rights and biased customary norms are additional sources of tenure insecurity. These issues are clearly demonstrated in Kibale district where we have absentee landlords. People around here, we don't have land titles. But for us, we feel having a land title means very many things. We have very many functions for it. Like you feel you are secure on your land. Most forest land occupants here are considered as squatters because land titles are held by other individuals who have not been residing on the land for decades. Recently, these absentee landlords have been actively reclaiming their land, but local people, the so-called squatters, are also contesting claiming rights based on residence. <laughs> When we have a community adjacent to the forest, taking charge of the ownership or the management of the forest and the report, we then come in to address or to handle the external encroachers. We inform them of what is going on and together as a team we forge a way of how we are going to ensure that we recover the land. Then uh, we give them ultimatum. If they cannot stop a dialogue then we proceed to court and prosecute. To address the tenure insecurity in Kibale, the government has taken several measures, including establishing a land fund to buy off the absentee landlords and redistribute the land to local occupants. Multi-stakeholder forums comprising local and national government officials, community representatives and NGOs came together to reflect on how best to secure local tenure rights. They agree that several actions are needed, such as dissemination of laws and policies to communities, 
including the translation into local languages. Additional actions include developing policies and laws to address specific issues such as in-migration, faster, affordable processes for community forest registration, and formulating and implementing bylaws and creating forest conservation committees and regulating harvesting of forest products.